Oh me, oh my. I got here at 8 a.m. like a fool. Nobody was ready at 8 a.m. They weren't going to be ready until at least noon. I could have slept for three more hours. I'm a fool. And because I got here early, I didn't even get to make up for it by leaving early. It's 6 p.m. It's 6.08, in fact. 6.08 and 76 degrees. It's been downright hot today. Short sleeves. Today's high 78, unofficially. Crazy, man, crazy. This is supposed to be a, a one-day warmth uh, thing. It's supposed to go back to the 60s uh, tomorrow and the rest of the week. So enjoy it. You won't be around long. Just long enough to hopefully heat up the house uh, one more time before I have to turn the furnace on. I actually keep the pilot light going all the time because I'm afraid to turn it off and then try to light it again later. It's an old furnace, man. But, I don't know, it's, it's that deal where you have to like really fight all the radiators and you have to put a lot of water into the system, but then you put too much water into the system and that little thing goes to a very uncomfortable place. You know, the thing, the thing. The gauge, the pressure gauge. I learned about this a little too late. One day I went downstairs and the pressure gauge was at like 60. It's not supposed to go over 25. It's like, oh my God, it's going to explode and the whole basement's going to blow up. But it didn't. I mean, it's solid as a rock, which is nice. Still, you don't want to test it because you'll soon find that like little flames are leaking out and your asbestos is charring or... I don't even know if it's asbestos. Hopefully it isn't. That would be bad, right? What was I talking about? Hello. It's a new week. The reason I got in early, today was posting day for the latest net backup maintenance release. 7504. Super nice. It's got 700 fixes in it and will solve all your problems. You will never have to call support again and you won't have to talk to me. And you won't have to talk to anybody, actually. It'll just make everything hum. I almost believe that, except they did plan for a 7505, so they must think it's not going to be totally perfect, but we'll keep that under our hats. So by the time they actually got it posted, and it was like close to 2 p.m. by the time it happened, I'm pretty grumpy because <laughs> I've been here 10 hours. Because there's a lot of things that are contingent upon the posting having posted. So until that's done, you're just kind of sitting around twiddling your thumbs and saying, man, I'm glad I didn't look at all 400 of those DVDs on Friday. Because I ended up doing that for most of the morning. After it posts, you gotta update all the documentation to say, instead of saying, we think it's gonna be fixed in the future, you say, it's fixed in 7504. Then you republish. You do that about two dozen times. And that's probably discretion of the service. There's probably no end of documentation that needs to be fixed, only I didn't find it today. And it'll be up to other people to say, hey, shouldn't this have been changed? I'm like, mm, yes, you're right. I'll do it now. So that's going to be my week, probably. That probably will take about a week to just get everything all caught up, which is fine. I don't really have anything really, really pressing. Well, nothing I can talk about anyway. I'm looking over at my board. Super secret. Whiteboard has all the information you need to know. Hope no one can actually read it. If I keep wiggling the camera, you definitely won't be able to read it. A lot of, I'm sure a lot of intellectual property that if it leaked out, I would totally get fired. Not really. I don't write it. It's important to me, not as important to the rest of the world, and nothing there that's really not publicly available. It's just not all put in one place. You ever notice that about knowledge? Is that it's all out there. But, like, nobody makes it convenient for you to have. If they did, well, a lot of people think they'd be less useful and or out of a job, but I think they would actually make a lot of money doing it. But those are the things you think about when you're so sleep-deprived. I think i got three hours of sleep. It's going to be so tough because I'm going to go home, and I'm going to want to watch the Packers game. The fact that I'm sleep-deprived is why I'm not wearing any Packers gear today. Somehow I have managed to not wear Packers gear every day there's been a game. But they are 2-1-1, hopefully 3-1 after today, right? Or are they 1-1, one and, one, 
And they'll be two and one after. I've already forgotten. What week is it? It's week three. It's week three, and we've lost like 90% of our survivor pool. It's been brutal. Anyway, got a root for Green Bay? Pardon me. They're in hostile territory. I know this because Drew will not stop talking about Seattle on the 12th man, whatever, whatever. Although he didn't make any bet with me, so I got out of another bet with another W user who's a fanatic of his team playing me, my team, not necessarily me. I'm just an owner. Uh, I feel like there's a comment I'm forgetting to comment on. Let me do a quick check. To do it to do because I have four minutes left. That's right. The pie man asks, Boy, my laptop is slow today. Can you explain why you kept that bag full of broken stuff? Yes. In 2004, when I packed up my desk for the final time at XO and put them in two, three boxes. There came a time where I just kind of gathered everything uh, and put it in bags and put them in the boxes. The boxes have kind of traveled from California to Minnesota to the temp job I had for a week to another temp job to this job that I ended up having in Veritas from that cubicle to that cubicle over here. And in all that time, I've never really gone into those boxes and throwing stuff out. So that's why it's still there. And in fact, after I was done with it on Friday, I put it back in the box to uh, take care of later. Later will never come, of course. But I'm sure there was a good reason I was keeping my broken batch holders. I think it was probably to keep track of how often I went through batch holders. I kind of had the same problem here, which is why I went to Walmart and got one of these deals. And in fact, this is the second one of these I bought. I bought one in California finally. For some reason, that is the only batch holder I, can, I have yet to locate. Did I find it? I can't remember. If I ever find it, it's got a swanky XO sticker on it. It looks just like this, but may not have been used as much. I don't know. This one's actually looking pretty ratty. All the little black paint's coming up. But it was like, it's under 3 bucks. It's metal. It's probably made in America. I don't know. It doesn't say. But you gotta have a batch holder in me, and you see, there's a here's a broken piece of batch holder from who knows when. I think I went through two or three. Symantec didn't have branded batch holders. Symantec is kind of weird. They don't want anyone to know you're working for Symantec, so if you lose your badge, they can't use it in a security risk. And yet they plaster their name all over the screensaver of my laptop, whether I like it or not. Nah. Schizophrenic. Hopefully that is also not a trade secret, which will get me fired. I was planning on digging up something to show you today, and then I forgot. And then by the time I'd remembered to change the numbers, oh man, 39 days until basketball. Regular season basketball with the Timberwolves. By the time I got that done, I actually got the camera fired up. I mean, it had already been past six. Can you believe that? Because it means I've been here 10 hours. And I didn't even fall asleep. It's taken staggering amounts of caffeine to keep me awake, though. So what I'm really worried most of all is I'm going to sleep through all the good parts of the game. It's very likely to happen. Um, when's the game start, anyway? I don't know. I know Raw starts at 7, but I won't be watching it, but I will be taping it. That's the other thing. So I want to watch the game. I would also like to watch Raw. Does that mean I'll be up until 2 or 3 in the morning tonight? When am I going to come in tomorrow? When's my first meeting tomorrow? Do you really need to know? No. But I need to know right now. Uh, maybe I don't have a meeting. I have a meeting at 11.30. Well, I'll definitely be here at 11.30. To find out what time I come in tomorrow, please tune in tomorrow, when I'm sure I will have forgotten to tell you. We'll have for future past, yes. Thanks for watching. It's another great week, and I'm CRZ, and you're someone else.